How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. So in today's episode we're going to be focusing on the Battle Pass Week 1 missions. I'm going to help you guys complete these missions because I know some of them are a little bit tricky. And then I'm going to just play some games and try to complete some of these missions myself. So let's start it out with win matches with home field advantage. This one can be a little bit tricky. Uh, you actually have to read the lore of the legends to know which maps are like their home battleground or whatever. Or you could do what I did and just Google it. And I found a Reddit post, boom, right here from Skybeast Game It. And he basically did all the research for us. So this is the complete list of which legends you have to win on which map. But keep in mind that down in the bottom, you see where it says like Shovel Knight characters on Planes of Passage. So any Shovel Knight character, regardless of what their base character actually is, if, if you're playing the Shovel Knight skin of that character on Planes of Passage, it will count. Same with Hellboy characters on Apocalypse, Adventure Time on Tree Four, and Steven Universe characters in Crystal Temple, etc. So this is the list if you're confused on how to get the win matches with home field advantage. And uh, let's keep going down the list. So Spear Legend wins. That's pretty easy. You just got to get wins with Spear Legends. Get KOs with the active input version of the attack. So this is uh, probably also a little bit tricky for some people. Let's go into training really quick and I'll show you what an active input attack looks like. Let's go, uh, let's go with Enchantress. She's a Shovel Knight character. So if I played on Planes of Passage and won, I would get that home field advantage uh, mission accomplished. So anyways... It won't, it won't count in training, but I'm just coming in here to show you guys what an active input is. So on Scythe, Scythe has a lot of active inputs and Fate in particular also has active inputs on Orb. So like, let's actually damage up the CPU a little bit. Let's give him a bunch of damage. So let's say he's in red and you're trying to get those active input KOs to complete that mission. So Fate has a couple. Her side sig has an active input. And actually, let me make sure. Yeah, my controller's on the screen so you guys can see. So if I do a side sig, and uh, hold forward or even do a side sig and just don't hold anything, I will launch him straight forward. But if I do a side sig and hold down, then he will go down. So, boom. That's an active input. Also, if you do an orb down sig, that's another active input. If you, if you don't push anything, you'll set him straight up. But if you push and hold forward, you'll send him forward. So that would be an active input KO. And then, of course, on the Scythe, Scythe has a lot of uh, active inputs on the uh, light attacks. Like, you can throw them backwards, you can throw them forward. Uh, but you have to get the kill with the active input. So you'd actually have to grab them and then throw them the other way. Or, like, on the Scythe Downlight. You grab another Scythe here. Scythe Downlight, if you hold, if you don't hold, it'll just go up like that. But if you hold forward, boom, that's an active input. And that could count as a KO if you get it. Okay, so that would have actually counted because he died. Alright, what other missions do we got? Let's see. So, we went over how to win with home field advantage. Spear Legend wins. Get KOs with active input version of attacks. Grapple Hammer KOs. Easy. First Strikes. This one actually confused me. I thought a first strike was, uh, you know, the, fir the, the person who gets an attack to land first. Like, whoever gets the first punch. But that's not the case. It's actually the first KO. The first knockout. So... I wish it would have just said first knockout, but you know, first strike basically means first knockout. Uh, orb damage, easy, just get damage with orb. Probably best to just go into free for all and you could get that pretty easily. Then KOs with down air attack, same thing. So we need to do orb, we need to do hammer, we need to do spear. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick Nash. He has hammer and spear, and uh, then maybe I'll use an orb. Oops, let's, let's go into a 1v1 game first here. I could do free for all. I could do two v two. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'll just do for, I'll just do a one v one here. So because I'm playing Nash, let's look at our list. If I get Nash on Mammoth Fortress, that that and I win the game, then that means I'll complete the home field advantage. So let's hope for Mammoth Fortress right here. And if you're not sure what the maps like names are, because it doesn't really do a good job of saying the name of the map, I really wish it showed in the loading screen which map you're about to play on and the name of that map because that would really help people learn the names of the maps but if you're not sure you can always go into uh, training mode and when you're about to select the map it it does show all the names of the maps so you can do it that way as well now I need I need spear wins 
but I need hammer knockout. So now that he's damaged up, let's try to get a hammer. If he'll let me, it might be hard. This guy is diamond. Yo! Oh man, that hammer knockout right there. There's one. I think I need how many? Like 25, 15, something like that. It's gonna be a minute, so. Oh, never forget that. That down sig just has so much range. Another hammer knockout, maybe? Yes! Woo! That hammer ground bomb, man. He just was staying off edge a little bit too long. All right, so if I win this game, I'll get the Spear Legend wins. And, well, one win anyway. If I can get all three knockouts with the uh, hammer. Oh, he almost killed me with that. I don't think I'm gonna last much longer here. I'm on my last stock. No, <laughs> down, down, I'm so scared. <sighs> all right, so that's all right. All I gotta do is damage him up. I also need knockouts with the down air, so I guess that would that would be fine. Hoping to get a hammer here pretty quick. And if I can damage him a little bit, please don't do a neutral sig. I'm so scared he's gonna do that. Woo, that down sig, it throws people off every time. I almost hit him again. Oh man. There it is, there it is, right? No? Yes. GG dude, GG. So unfortunate that I didn't get Nash on Mammoth Fortress because we would have got that home field advantage. So I did get a couple taunts. I forgot I had the uh, glow stick taunt. Let's see what I got. Look at that progress. Three grapple hammer KOs. We got the spear legend win. We're also getting side signature or recovery attack KOs to, to level up our Val skin. And I need KOs on Sun Drive City or Miami Dome to level up my uh, podium. All right, so spear and hammer, that's always good. How about we do hammer and orb? I need orb damage and I need hammer knockout. So let's try to damage up with orb. Actually, to get the most damage, guys, I'm not even kidding. You want to do free for all. Free for all is the best way to get a ton of damage. When I play free for all, I usually get over a thousand damage in a match. And it's really hard to get a thousand damage in a match in a 1v1, so. If you're just trying to complete the missions where it's like, get damage with a weapon, just play free-for-all. Because free-for-all, you have more people to hit, and therefore you're going to get more damage done. You can hit all three people at once. You know what I mean? That's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh man, I, I didn't even plan to go that way with that. Alright, let's go baby. Oh man, if I was playing Thor on a different level... Actually, no, Thor's not one of the legends that has the home field advantage, surprisingly. Okay, I need damage with orbs, so I'm not even going to use the hammer yet. Let's just get as much damage as possible with the orb. And if we can, I want to get KOs with the hammer. Also, ground uh, down air KOs would be great. Okay. Onyx was so uh, distracted, she actually killed herself. Oops. And I'm dead. That Jala side stick hits hard, baby. There's an orb KO, which I don't need, but at least I got the damage. Oh, I was trying to get that down air KO so bad. We're getting a ton of orb damage here, though. Uh-oh. What? That killed me? I was already, like, heading back and I died. Unbelievable.
All right, there's a hammer KO for sure. Right? No! Jala, how are you still alive? Oh man, they stole my KO. I th well, not really. I mean, Jala got back, but... I need some hammer KOs. You're gonna have to die. There's one. There we go. We are making good progress. I would like more orb damage here, though. I need to put this hammer away. Actually, let's kill Val. Val's in, like, deep red. Oh, Val, like, killed herself, pretty much. If I could get a quick KO here. Or I'll just, you know, die. That works. Dajala got double knockout. 30 seconds. All right, this is the game, guys. Not that I really care who wins. I'm just trying to get the damage and stuff, but... Let's get some more orb damage while we're here. And let's take Jala out so we get the win. Get as much orb damage as possible before the map ends. Got a bit of damage there. And we got the win. Look at that. 1,000 damage and 5. I called it. GG, guys. GG. I forgot to do my cool taunt there, but oh well. Look at that. Orb damage. 546. I should have done more, but that's alright. We also got a side signature or recovery attack KOs. And we got one grapple hammer KO. Not too bad. Not too bad. Actually, I am. I have a daily quest to get orb or axe KOs. So that that's actually not a bad uh, idea right there. Uh, I think I will go Enchantress again. Enchantress. Let's do another free-for-all, just because, again, orb damage. And Enchantress has some really easy-to-get uh, KOs with active input attacks, like I showed you in the training. The orb down sig is really easy to get KOs, and also the side sig on orb. So, not to mention just scythe. Like, if you just do a side light and hold it forward, that's an active input. Or a down light and hold it forward, active input. So, I gotta be looking for people that are in red damage, and then I need to active input KO them. Too bad we didn't get uh, Planes of Passage, because this is a Shovel Knight character. I'd, I'm having a really unlucky time getting the uh, the home field advantage mission. Alright, I don't even know what's happening. These. Jay Young not even playing. I'm just trying to get active input KOs, but I don't really want to use the site to damage them. I'm using that way too much. Ow. Alright, let's start doing those active inputs. I see Jiro in red. If I could get him with that down sig, man, that would that would be it. Oh no no no. Or I'm gonna die. There's one. That's an active input KO. Wasn't even trying to get uh, Jay Yun, he just kind of stepped right in front of me. Val might be dead off of that. Nope. No! He actually saved me with the weapon throw that time. Incredible. I was pretty much dead. No! I'm trying to hit Jiro. Oh no, I'm dead, I'm dead. Nope, I'm still alive! 
I'm not doing any orb damage this game. Completely was like with the scythe. I just realized that. I need to get this active input KO on Jiro. Come over here. Come over. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep attacking me. It's okay. I don't care if you do a lot of damage. No, Jiro, you kill yourself, man. I was supposed to kill you. Oh man, that was not a great game. I mean, I did get some progress, but not as much as I wanted. I just got lost using the scythe. I was like having so much fun using it. So what? I didn't get... Oh yeah, I did get the KO with an active input. So I got one of those. Only 129 orb damage. And then we got some KOs with down air attacks, I guess. So that's okay. We're still making progress. We're still making progress. I also got another orb KO. So, all right, scythe or greatsword KO. Ooh. Um, no, we're not going to use Greatsword. Let's do, uh, I need ha Spear Legend wins. Spear and Hammer. We already did Nash. How about... And Spear? Alright, let's do Dusk. Dusk. Actually, let's switch it to, uh, 2v2. You can still get a lot of damage in 2v2. If you absolutely don't like 1v1, or I mean, if you absolutely don't like Free For All for getting, like, all the damage done really quickly, 2v2 is your next best bet, because at least in 2v2 you have three targets. So, I mean two targets instead of one in, in 1v1, so. Alright, going against McBama and Ninja Hero, I got Jared28TC on my team. Look at that beautiful black heatwave colors. Very nice. Alright, let's do it. Get some orb damage here, hopefully. If I could get a KO with that down air too, that would be awesome. There it is. Got one. Yo, this is a good game. Fate is nearly dead. Oh no, she got an active input attack. That's gonna count for her. Nice one, Fate, nice one. She going for another one. I need a weapon! Boom! Oh man, too bad I don't get anything for that. Nice! I really don't need the spear other than spear legend wins, so I'm just gonna put that away and go for an orb here. Look at that damage! Oh no, my teammate just bombed me. That's alright, we have a chance. We still got plenty of time. Ouch. Onyx just literally destroyed me. I love those synthwave colors too. Come on, Jared. I believe. I believe in you, Jared. <laughs> oh, man. GG, guys. GG's. Alright, so let's see how I did. Oh, yeah. 300 orb damage. Not as good as doing free for all, though. Free for all, you definitely get more damage. And I was pretty much using orb the whole time there, so. 
Anyways, guys, I'm gonna keep progressing on the battle pass off camera. I'm not gonna make this video like two hours long, so just wanted to go over how you uh, get some of these tricky missions. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing for all the rest of the weeks, so if you like help on these missions, definitely subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good on the battle pass. Let me know where you're at, what level you're at. I'm only at tier six, but next next level, guys, next level. I'm getting a loading frame, so I'm hyped. Anyways, please drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. As always, this is Lucian the Sword, guys. Take it easy.